This tutorial is about coding a state machine and is an example we are using a traffic light with night mode switch. State machines are great for handling a sequence of events, processing inputs and outputs according to a clear set of rules. And more importantly, they make you plan and think through each design before you spend time to code. In the description below this video you will find a link to the GitHub code repository that includes a wiring schematic the bill of materials and detailed explanations for each line of code. Let's consider a traffic light state diagram. Our traffic light has four main states, red, red, yellow, green and yellow, and then it goes back to red again in an endless cycle. To go from one state to the next, we have transitions in form of shorter and longer timeouts. There is also a fifth state, yellow flashing, which has two substates with equal transitions. If you think about it, it's a little state machine. In any state at any time, the user can interrupt the cycle with short and long button presses. You'll see in the test video and code. To keep it simple, we use LEDs instead of sensors, motors or other actuators, because the clever stuff happens as always in the code. Here's an overview of all parts in case you're not so familiar with them. You can find cheaper substitutes online for most parts, but you will need some kind of LED rings, matrices or strips. The wiring isn't difficult. And alternatively, you could use an online Arduino simulator like Wokui or Tinkercad. Please watch the video before looking through the code on GitHub. Once there's power, the microcontroller resets and the state machine cycle repeats until the power is cut again or the user resets. Please look at the serial monitor and LEDs. The cycle timer is non-blocking, so you can run other code in parallel, taking sensor readings, trigger a sequence of motor actions, or anything else you can think of. At any time the user can interrupt the ongoing state changes with a short button press to activate the night mode. A long button press returns the system to normal operation and for safety reasons the cycle restarts with red. It is easy to see where this approach leads. A robot detecting an obstacle, an environmental sensor broadcasting spiking values. Anything goes. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the clever stuff happens always in the code. So please head over to GitHub and take a good look. And now it's your turn. Thank you for watching and listening.